Technology is ever evolving and ever growing. The more it eases our lives, the more insecurities it brings along. One of the major drawbacks of increasing uses of technology in everyday life is the rapid rate at which cyber threats are increasing in all corners of the world. Hey everyone, I'm Prinjal from Team Digital and today I'm going to talk about cyber security and its scope. Cyber security has gained momentum in the last few years. It is no more limited to just IT industries, but is a prime concern for other industries operating in the digital space too. The demand for those who can handle security risk will only increase in the coming years, proving that the future of cyber security careers in India is bright. Cyber security jobs in India falls into several categories. A few examples include network security, application security, information security, disaster recovery, and business continuity. Under each of these categories are different cyber security roles. Here are some IT security jobs in India, along with each job's average wage per annum. The first is Chief Information Security Officer. According to a report in PwC, over 80% of companies now have CISO on the management team. These trends show that the companies have grown aware of the threats of cyber crimes and potential damage such attacks can cause. The CISO is a senior level executive in the organization that ensures that the cyber security plan is aligned with businesses' vision, operation, and technology. Average salary per annum is 35 lakhs. The next is security architect. A security architect plays a crucial role in designing the network and computer security architecture for the company. The security architect helps in planning, researching, and designing the elements of security. Without a security architect, a company's security system is vulnerable to attacks. The security architect first creates the design based on the needs of the company and then works together with the programming team to build the final structure. Average salary per annum is 24 lakhs. The next is Information Security Officer. An information security manager detects loopholes that makes information systems susceptible to attacks. They are responsible for detecting and preventing cyber threats within the company's data, computer and networks. Businesses can face major loss if they fail to protect sensitive customer information and violate data protection laws. Hence, large corporations hire information security managers to make sure that the company data, systems and networks do not get hacked. Average salary per annum is 39.4 lakhs. Cyber Security Engineer A cyber security engineer creates and executes secure network solutions to strengthen technology initiatives and take them to next level. Cyber security engineers are an integral part of the system. There is huge demand supply gap in the required work face capabilities of this position. So companies value the in-depth knowledge and experience this profession brings to the table. Average salary per annum is 6 lakhs. Security engineer. An application security engineer looks after the stability of the internal and external application of the organization. They would have an in-depth knowledge and expertise in dealing with the privacy and compliance aspect of third-party application such as Azure or AWS. Any organization that wants to integrate such software into its day-to-day -day operation will want to hire these cyber security professionals. Average salary per annum is 6 lakhs. One additional advantage of choosing a career in cyber security is the ability to work remotely. If your role primarily relies on server-based operation, all you need is a laptop and a strong internet connection. Learning is a never-ending process for cyber experts. A Bengaluru-based edtech startup has reported that over the last three years, working professionals who underwent upskilling witnessed a 126 percent increase in the salaries. So below are some ways in which you can upskill your knowledge on cyber security. The first is offline internship programs. In high demand professions, many companies provide internship programs to nurture and build their talent. These programs provide opportunities to young graduates to develop practical skill set and become industry ready. The next is webinar and events. There are several webinars and online events on cyber security that are being conducted almost every day. Organizations can encourage their employees to attend such events. The next is internal training programs. Companies with the help of their experienced cyber security professionals can design a basic cost structure for training freshers in cyber security. 
Class this on bowling a industry expert. Since internal training an employee in a particular space can consume a lot of time and efforts, companies can partner with industry experts. These experts add value by bringing in-depth knowledge and understanding of the security landscape. Regardless of the reasons for the increase in demand, the pressing problem is the shortage of people trained and capable enough to fill in the growing number of cyber security roles. However, upskilling is going to solve this issue to a large extent and bridge the talent gap in this area. To know more about this interesting topics, don't forget to share, like and subscribe to our channel for latest updates. Thank you.